Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be my top 10 Yoast mods from the Mod Hub. So if you don't know who Yoast is, he is a fantastic modder, good friend of the channel, one of the channel moderators for me, as well as just being a big part of the farming simulator community in general. And I wanted to do a video on my top 10 mods that he's made since he has 18 out now on Mod Hub for Farming Simulator 22. And some of these are pretty big game changing mods. And he does a lot of really good work that kind of helps you change the game and make it easier for console players. So um, we'll get into that and go over all that. Uh, most of these mods are for all platforms. Some of them are just for PC, but we'll go over those when we get to them. So again, without further ado, this is my personal top 10 favorite Yoast mods mods from the Mod Hub. All right, to start, we have this guy right here. This is the Dirtinator. You place it down just like you would any other sort of power washer. However, we have a clean tractor here, so instead of making it, oops, I don't want to get in the tractor. Instead of making this tractor clean, this thing with this fantastic animation is going to make this tractor slowly dirtier and dirtier, and you can see it's making it absolutely filthy, which is fantastic. So this is great if you're doing some role play sort of stuff or anything like that on console, because again, this is for all platforms, so it kind of helps with that. If you're on PC, obviously there's other ways to get dirt on your vehicle, such as Easy Dev. But if you're playing on console, this is a really good way to do it. So uh, there you guys go. That is the Dirtinator by Yos. All right, my next one for number two is the Crop Calendar Manager. This is by Yos. I have not actually used this one in like a series yet, but I love the concept of it. Um, and I think it's really useful. This one does, however, only work for PC and Mac players just because it is a script mod. So you have your standard whatever crop calendar for whatever map you're on here. Let's say you wanted to use a different one. Well, you can go down to the settings, get onto the bottom, and you can change it to any other map you have installed. So let's say you really liked the Zalanka one, which I think is actually the same as No Man's Land, because I think it's just standard. But let's say you really liked one of the other crop calendars from a different map. You can just go through and select it, and then it'll reflect up here with the new one, which is pretty cool. So if you wanted to actually change it, or there was a map that had maybe different times to harvest wheat or barley or whatever the case may be, and you still wanted to play seasons on, but um, you wanted to play on that map just with a different crop calendar, it kind of gives you the, the ability to do that, which is really cool. So there you guys go. That's number two, the crop calendar manager. For number three, I have the liftable bale pack, which this one is for all platforms. So if you're on console, what this does is gives you the ability to make bales that you can lift by hand. I don't have super strength on. If you look in the bottom right hand corner, this bale is 100 kilograms, 100 kilograms, 100 kilograms, 100 kilograms. It basically sets the weights of all the bales to be 100 kilograms. It also gives you special balers to be able to make these. This does work with cotton bales and all sorts of different stuff as well. And it gives you the ability to be able to purchase bales like these that are liftable as well, which is really cool. And if you want to know more about that, I do have a video on everything on how to use that mod. If you want to check that out, I will put a card up on the screen right now for you guys. But there you guys go. That's the liftable bales pack by Yos. All right, next up, we have the Long Reach Chainsaw. This is for all platforms as well, which is pretty cool. So typically, if you have a chainsaw, you can come up to a tree, cut it down, no big deal, easy peasy. But let's see, well, let's say I wanted to cut this tree down from a ways away. Well, I should still be able to actually get it here. There we go. You can see how far I am from this tree. It is still able to get a cut ring on it. Uh, it also means I can cut pretty high up on the tree as well if I wanted to for whatever reason. So I could just cut that tree way up there if I wanted to, just like that, I cut that tree in half without anything crazy. So again, long reach chainsaw, really cool mod. And again, that's for all platforms. So there you go. All right, for number five, I have the liftable pallets and big bags, and these are for all platforms and they do go hand in hand with the next two I'm gonna show you. So basically what this does, similar to the bales, the liftable bales, is it allows you to, be able to lift any pallet that you have on your map. Now, existing pallets before you install this mod will not be liftable, so only newly spawned pallets out of your factories and newly purchased items after that will be spawnable. And if you do want to be able to lift big bags and stuff like this, make sure you use the appropriate um, the appropriate purchase. You purchase the appropriate uh, versions of it because there are still the regular ones in the store, but there's also the liftable ones in there. So again, this works with all platforms. So if you're on console and want to be able to move pallets around by hand, this is a really easy way to do that. And with that, that moves us on to number six, which is going to be liftable pallets for the Platinum Expansion. Now, I know these are viable versions of some of the things. This is actually long planks right here. You can see because I don't have um, I don't have Platinum installed. They kind of showed up weird and all that sort of stuff. But um, if you have Platinum installed, it'll actually work a little bit proper. But you can buy all the different products and stuff like that. And you also will have list liftable items from the Platinum Expansion. So any of those pallets or items like that. And number i believe it's eight now seven no this is six seven's next seven's next here we go we also have the same version of that except now for premium 
So if you have any of the premium products, again, I know they're not turned up right. I didn't see missing fill type down there. That's because I don't have premium selected in my game save, and that was my fault. Totally forgot to do it. But there you guys go. It's liftable palettes for the premium expansions of the game. Moving on to number eight, we have the Pancake Production. This is for all platforms as well. So I think actually most things are for all platforms so far. The only one that hasn't been is uh, uh, the Crop Calendar one. But anyhow, if you wanted to make some pancakes, and if you know anything about Yoss, he does love his pancakes. Um, but we have this Pancake Production. Sorry, it's a little weird. I placed it to the side of a mountain here. But if I go in here and activate the production or go in here, I can see I can make maple pancakes and pancakes with maple syrup. So pretty cool. Love it. Very cool. Very cool. So if you wanted to make some pancakes and do that, you can do that with these. And again, these are also liftable, which is fantastic because they have liftable pallets installed. So there you go. Froggy's Pancake Place right there. The pancake production by Yas. Moving on to number nine, I have the Mobile Utilities mod, which is for all platforms as well. And these are very cool. And one thing I will say about the pancake production, um, if you want to know how to use that, I will put a card up on the screen right now because I have done a video on it and its profitability. So make sure you guys check that out. And in terms of the mobile utilities, I have also done a video on this. So I will put a card up on your screen right now as well if you wanted to check out more information about these. But these all have very different tasks. This one right here is essentially a distributor for wood. So if I come into, oh, not the store there, I can have, it'll store wood. So I can pick up wood with it and it'll distribute them to here. And then you can change that to distributing. So basically where all your trees are at that you've cut down, you can walk around with this and pick them up really easily and get them into this little little uh, container here, which is very cute. And you can have them distribute to all your wood productions, which is pretty useful. This here, I believe, is just the bale cell point. This is just a regular cell point. This is a wood cell point. And then this guy right here basically works as like a little portable silo. So um, you can put uh, lime, fertilizer, seeds in it. It holds quite a huge capacity. And then you can take them out to your cedars or whatever you have going on. And you can refill them with that, which is pretty cool. And you can also dump stuff in it whatever you need to do. So again, I very quickly went over some of the stuff that this stuff does. If you want to get a full picture of it, again, check out that video. Uh, it'll also be linked down below in the description. description. But um, again, all of these things are liftable things that come with consoles as well. You can move them around and do whatever you'd like with them. Um, so pretty cool. But yeah, very cool mod. That's the mobile utilities by Yos. All right, for number 10, and last but not least, of course, is the donut production. Also for all platforms, I had to pick the donuts. I love donuts, so I you have to choose them but I can make glazed strawberry and chocolate donuts with these various ingredients in here. And it's fantastic. And you can see I got boxes of donuts back here, which is like great. And they're all liftable because of the unliftable pallets. So actually these might not be liftable because of the pallets, they might just come out liftable. That might actually be how they normally come out. But anyhow, I do have a video on this as well and the profitability of it. So if you wanted to check that out, a card will pop up on your screen right now so you guys can check it out. But if you wanted to make some donuts, pretty cool. And if you want to check out all of Yoss's other mods, I will also put a link down below in the description to the mod hub where you can check out every mod that he has made for Farming Center 22 for all platforms and other platforms and PC only and whatever have you. But that is what I got for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of unique top 10 video where I just covered some of the mods from a fantastic modder, Yoss Modding. So there you guys go. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos that I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.